we are going to set up some new paper spaces so that we can print out our flat. So we'll go here to uh, create a new layout, set this up as a D size. So we're going to name it D size. edit this, change our printer to a plotter, change our paper size to D size, 24 by 36, architectural D size. What to print will be our layout, uh, one to one scale line weights, and everything else will be the same. Click OK. We have our large piece of paper, and this is a viewport. So viewports are in their own scale. Over here in our properties inspector, we have a scale. I'm going to change this to half inch scale. That flat is now in half inch scale. And I'm going to take this and duplicate it. So copy, paste. I'm going to paste it uh, above it. Actually, I'll paste it right here for the moment. I want to move this one. Move it up here. I have to double click inside the frame, change the front view, double click outside the frame to leave it. When we're double clicking it, we're actually going into model space, but within the viewport. Here we're going to change the scale back to half inch. Now that's a half inch version of this drawing. We're going to make a copy of this one and paste it right next to it. This one we want to with a side view, so we'll double click. There's a side view, double click on the outside, select it, and change the scale again to half inch. That's one and a half inch to half inch. Now see that one, we're going to do it again and do a top view. Put it down here below. And we'll click and hit a top view. Scale is half inch again. Right. So we have a front, a side, and a top. And we want to add our labels. put top over here. Take a look at what this is going to look like. We hit print and I'm going to save it to my PDF. We also have a preview here. So let's just hit print preview and it's sending it to um, make a PDF. And there's the PDF. Now, if you don't want to see the viewport frames, what we're going to do is add a new layer called viewport frames. And then we're going to move all the viewports with their frames into that layer. There we go. And now turn off that layer. The viewports stay, but the frames go away. Now, if we take a look at what the preview looks like, print and preview. And the frames are gone. 